Welcome everybody, you're watching Mr. Fugu Data Science. Today we're looking at Indeed web scraping for the hrefs. These are the hyperlinks used for the job description. If you're looking at Indeed, you'll see something like this for the regular jobs in the abbreviated form. Here is just a brief description of the job. And when you click this right here, it opens up and expands to a new page that we can look at here, which gives you the full job description for the text. This text could be web scraped and used for natural language processing. That's the purpose of the work of this video from a viewer who reached out to me. In the end, we'll store each one of those within our data frame and allow the future user to do whatever analysis they would like. Feel free to reach out to me here on my socials as well as my community tab on my channel page. Let's get started, everybody. Today, I will not be coding this out, nor will I explain how to web scrape. If you would like that, look at the card above for a previous video for web scraping from Indeed. All the code from today will be on my GitHub page, as well as the links to each of those videos, which will help you. Feel free at any time to pause the video if you want to follow along, but I suggest you look at the card above for the work through of getting started with web scraping indeed. Let's scroll down real fast, figure out how or what we're going to deal with. Feel free to pause the video if you need. We're looking specifically at these links, these href links. Let's figure out what's going on here. It's stored in an A tag with a class of JCS job title with each word capitalized. And then we're pulling out the hrefs. So let's go in indeed and figure out how we could start looking at this. If we're going in Indeed, let's go out to the outermost because you're always working from outer to inner. This is storing in the mosaic zone all of our entries for each posting. Each list is storing our individual posts. So we need to scroll down and start digging. And you see right here, this highlighted portion is where we had the link that we click. And this href here is what we're actually pulling from each posting, which is the clickable portion that opens up our job description. If you pay attention, this is the class right here that I pulled. Each one of these will store the information for a link which will allow us to basically click and web scrape from there. This mentions something which is really important. If we look here at the top right here, the starting portion we're dealing with, you see the question mark after jobs and then we're looking for a data analyst in Chennai and we're sorting by date for my example. When we open the clickable version like this, you see here, this notice something different. You see the view job and a question mark and then JK and then all the information after pertaining to this individual posting. This is something that we need to take note and use for our function that we're going to iterate through. Now let's go to our code and let's scroll down a little bit. And if you notice, I, in my example, decided to take this relevant data. We're going to need a default dictionary, which is going to be very important. Here are the column names that we're going to use for our data frame. The stored information that we just came up with is this. For each entry, we're storing it as a list of lists where we have the company name. We have the position you're applying for the href which we're interested the salary and a posted date this for us in today's example is the only thing that's important I want to mention a couple quick things one this one has the proper formatting right initially and then you say uh oh this has different formatting with some other stuff in front of it and then we scroll down just a little bit more and we say oh no we got something that's completely different for formatting how are we supposed to even deal with this for the website to actually handle it can it read it directly do we have to do some regular expressions that's fine out. So we got these links that we need to deal with. I created a list to store the information we're going to play with and I create that data frame off the list of lists that we have and the column names that I had that were above. When I take this panda series, I'm going to store this as a list. I'm going to iterate through this list and I'm going to use the index of my iterator as the key to help with the default dictionary. I am then going to use our starting link and then the href that we're going to iterate through. I'm going to make a request call to the website with the headers. You don't need headers, but for this example, I had headers. We're going to get a response. Beautiful Soup is going to call in our website and I'm using LXML because I want to do a speed instead of native Python. We're going to find the information because it's stored within this class job search job description. What is this from? When we go into each one of these links, 
links. We want to be in a position to grab the data, grab all of the text from the job description. Let's find out where this came from. Here's one job description here. This information, this text block is where we pull this from when you click that link. So from that link, if you look above here with the question mark JK, this is the job description link that we're iterating and doing more web scraping with and stored inside of it to grab that information is this. Every piece of text in one of these blocks here can be grabbed using this div class right here. That's what's in the code I have. I'm doing a append and basically doing a stripping all the strings and appending the index position here, which would be used for the key so we can link everything up and make it concise. Let me show you something. You see all of these, all the zeros are all the ones. That's what's going to be used for the keys so we can put all of the same information together. I had to do some exception handling for this small portion. Just make sure you pay attention because there's cases where you need to do uh, exceptions with we'll try accept blocks. And now we're in a position where we could take each one of these entries and store them together and put each job description in one block. Now let's print this off. Let's mention this too in the code. Let's notice something real quick that I neglected to say. Here's the links and I mentioned, do we have to do any further parsing? Can I read this directly? What can we actually do? So we click it, we're good to go. This job posting expired obviously because I ran this code a few days ago. Let's look at something else. We see this company, let's see if this opens up directly. It does open up directly. Okay, that's fine. We have the full job description. Just note something up here. We still have the view job in the question mark, but instead of having company as the full word, it's automatically converted to CMP, which is like if you're writing out indeed.com and you neglect to put this HTTPS, it automatically re or references it without you having to explicitly write it. So that's nice to see. And then we have our index position here for each one of our entries, which we can use for our default dictionary next to link up each one of these pieces of text for our entries. And you just have to pay attention here because you need to do some exception handling. Let's go to the next part here where we're creating our default dictionary, which stores our our keys, which will be the index positions and our values are the string text. We're going to iterate through our list of lists to our default dictionary. We're going to create a new list, taking all of our values and doing string joints to put each one of the entries together. And here's the first one printed out. Now you have the ability to store this in your data frame and have the opportunity to apply natural language processing or whatever you want. Now we have our data frame with all of our text descriptions. We have our links and all the other information was stored previously. I would like to say thank you for watching. Thank you again for the uh, member from my channel recently. But if you would like to reach out to me, hit me up on my socials and don't forget, leave some comments or suggestions in my community tab for future videos. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And if you subscribe, turn on that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my bed